I'm going to show you a rotating planet on the Thornbath South FAA webcam. And you will notice that this thing has a little thing on it that's rotating in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Guys, this stuff is serious. This is an intense image that we captured. Um, and let me slow it down here now and blow it up so you can see it a little clearer. And I changed the saturation and a couple and the brightness a little bit just to make it easier to see. This is remarkable, remarkable footage. This is the best. Again, every day it just goes up another notch. We see something else that just blows our mind. So just underscores the importance of preparation and knowledge and being aware and not listening to people that are trying to mislead. And uh, let's get on to the rest of the video here. So here's the uh, a recent H1. Uh, again, just taking a couple of days uh, more of footage. Uh, not even talking about the huge you know, ejecta, but see that little half semicircle that showed up there? Check that out, man. Is that an object being covered up somehow? I don't know, but look what Venus does here as it goes off the frame. Since when does Venus explode like that? What happened in that frame? I don't know. And here's another uh, SETI view of the big circle and the huge burst of energy from Venus and just kind of loops through and then kind of Venus is leaving like a trail through space you see that boing 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 going through big circle on the bottom wow here's another amazing one from, from Wainwright it's just uh is this I don't know if this is the same object that we we're seeing uh, pre the one previous I think that's a different object this is that more uh, multicolored orb or you know some even speculate that, that these are types of creatures which is an, an interesting theory. Um, I, I tend to stick to this as probably a planetary body. But guys, this is the FAA cam in Alaska. This is not Steve Olson's camera. This is uh, an official government website. And basically they're letting us see uh, the sun transverse a planet in our sky, which is huge. You guys, just think about what I'm saying here, okay? This is being seen all over the world. And I'm not trying to deceive you. WSO is not trying to deceive you. We are trying to warn you so that you can get your house in order. And I'll talk more about that here in a minute, what that means. But check it out, man. That's, that's some pretty stunning footage, don't you think? Okay, this is one of the reasons why that recent Sechi thing is setting off such a firestorm of disinformation and, and confusion and shilling is because um, I, was I was talking about it in terms last night of a being a plasma... A plasma thing right something that is a representing some kind of plasma reaction on the far and the re reason I get this theory is from the Thunderbolts project and I highly encourage you go to their YouTube channel and watch the videos of signs of an alien sky I think it it explains this very well and I won't try to do it because uh, they do it so well but anyway what I wanted to do in, in short show you is that on the on the left that is a uh, far left the purple one that is a uh, representation or a view of a plasma reaction in a vacuum when two opposing uh, electro electric forces are creating what is essentially lightning, okay, but in a very compressed way. The one on the right was is so interesting is because that's an ancient cave drawing, and a lot of people think that ancient peoples have seen these um, you know huge plasma events in the sky from various things, various reasons over history, and then you see on the far you know on the far uh, right there. That's the picture that we got from the H1 Sechi camera, the one that we're claiming that the that the Navy kind of covers up in some pictures and other pictures they let it show. Just, it, it's it's kind of a confusing mess. What's really important is what this image is saying to us and the way that it moves through space is this could be some type of a plasma signature, and that's why we talk about it in those terms. I just wanted to explain that to you all. Bigger than a channel, WSO is growing. Groups, support groups, research, ham radio stations, video analysis, all the things we're doing. This is the last day just to remind you by midnight to either give a donation or to buy something from the website to be an insider member with access to those things. And just wanted to remind you that we're doing this because we really do care, man. We're trying to raise money so we have resources to help people. That's what we're up to. Thanks, guys. All right, let's run through some pictures. Just tons and tons of evidence keep pouring in, different things to look at. Here's uh, an, a Sechi, you know, single frame catch of some type of an object, uh, or uh, it can't be any kind of light refraction or lens flare, guys, because it's a radio telescope. 
Um, okay, whatever. Next one is these Canada uh, All Sky images. We're starting to see this big rocky planet again. And when you think about this and you say, holy crap, Steve, that thing is huge. There's no way that that could exist. Well, you know, if we're, if we're kind of saying that there's going to be three days of darkness, um, you know, how big do you think these objects are going to be to have to pass in front of the sun to, to kind of shut down sunlight? You know, just think, th kind of thinking it through, we have to get used to kind of the idea that we're probably going to see big stuff in the sky like this. And this is what the sky cams in Canada are telling us anyway. And then we also started to get the same kind of phenomenon in Hong Kong again, that the strange, potentially a planet or whatever showing up in the, you know, in the sky cams there. So very interesting stuff on the big rocky planet background of our sky now. Now this one is interesting. This one comes to me from uh, Sharon. This is the, uh, you know, just a photograph from one of the webcams in Italy. Check this out though, man. It is some kind of a strange refraction, reflection or something is just showing up there and we've seen this in like ancient photographs and ancient you know tapestries and things like that so it's just an interesting thing again coming up this little you know orb object with a seeming kind of wheel in the middle that also could be some kind of a plasma signature as well now that i think of it um and you think about the shapes from the from the you know thunderbolt project the next thing I wanted to look at was, remember this shape that we've been looking at and seeing in many cams where we've got the big stripe through the middle of it? Well, that's uh, also starting to show up in cameras all over the world now. Um, and I think it's probably the most interesting thing about these GoPro photos that the astronauts take that I played around with the other day. Um, I'm coming to kind of the conclusion that this is a flare, of some kind of a type of lens flare. And, you know, again, it was I was looking at stationary footage, and when I looked at uh, GoPro, um, the GoPro footage itself, it, it, it definitely bounced around on the screen. It's an inter It could be some kind of an interesting refraction of the Earth, and, you know, again, I apologize if I misled. What I'm really interested in is this little circle right here, this bad boy right here. And that, when I say objects, I didn't mean, you know, one object. I wasn't just focused on that thing that turns out to be a flare. I'm also focused on this thing that turns out to be some type of an orb. And let me further show it to you by just kind of playing with the image a little bit, you know, the exposure and whatnot. And you can see it. It's an orb. Guys, check it out. You know, see it? It's like right there. And it kind of matches with these other photographs that we're seeing. So I think it's kind of a neat corroboration. And, you know, whatever this flare represents, I don't know. But th this is the thing that I would be. And it seems to be having like a smoke trail behind it in the in the uh, kind of in the vernacular of a Nibiru researcher would expect to see um, here we see um, again this weird uh, rainbow in the middle of the sky which Sam Hoffman tells us is the atmosphere of a planet actually being refracted which I I can't argue with them I I don't know why a, a rainbow would show up in the sky backwards from the Sun and by the way we'll probably be having Sam on here again soon if he if he still if you'll forgive me for cutting off contact while well, I tried to catch up with his learning. But it turns out that a lot of things that Sam was saying was true, you guys, and uh, it's pretty interesting stuff. Here's a photograph I don't know what to make of. Um, what I'm told is that they caught part of the sun through the clouds and then there was an object in front of it. But it, it just seems to me like some kind of a reflection on the, on the lens. I'll let you be the judge of it. But apparently this woman saw this and saw this... Uh, the, sun, the bottom of the sun and said there was this orb in front of the sun. So you be the judge. I, 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 I don't know what to say about that photograph, but I thought it was compelling enough to show it to everybody. And then look what we're seeing again. We're seeing these big circles show up. Remember from France and from Paris and everything? We're seeing those circles. Ugh, that's weird. And then here's another kind of view of H1A from the Sechi stuff and showing that, you know, ejecta from Venus in a different view and that semicircle right here, uh, or that maybe full circle there, uh, that that was kind of being obfuscated. And then I got this photograph. I don't know where it came from. Sharon showed it to me and said somebody got a picture of it. So I'm trying to track down if this is legitimate or not. It seems to be through a telescope. But I would like to uh, see this. I don't buy that any meteor is going to hit the Pacific. I don't see any proof of that yet. But I just wanted to show you this image because it was kind of weird, spooky. Wanted to get it out there in case it was real. Um, so we'll kind of leave it at that for the subscriber photos. Quick too, man. I was just wondering if we had covered this yet. What is that going through out by Pluto? That 
force. What is is that normal? Have you guys already covered this? <laughs>